Hello, everyone. Um, today, nothing special. Nothing's going on. I have a yaksok later. Yaksok in Korean means promise, but it's what you say when you're gonna go meet someone. So I have a promise with someone. I have a meeting with someone. And I wanted to try this new palette that I got from China. <laughs> Eddie visited Shanghai when I was in America. And he was like, do you need anything? He's always asking me if I need anything. And I'm always scrolling through the doyen. So it's from this brand called Color Rose, I guess. And look at this shirt. Oh my God. Colors are right up my fucking alley. They're all like really muted, kind of basic <laughs> colors. It has highlighter, blush, and eyeshadow. So it has basically everything I would need for color makeup. I did try it once off camera, but um, I'm gonna try it again for you. I already did my skincare and my lip mask, um, so I'm just gonna use some super goop. This primer and then this foundation has been like my go-to combination and I swear it's like so fucking good. Everyone color stay is legendary. It's been around for years and years and years and years. So if you need a good long wear foundation, color stay and it's at the drugstore. This ANSI brush I showed you in my last video as well. This is gonna sound really gross and look kind of gross, but you often see me use these flat foundation brushes to apply foundation. If it's just for me, I often don't really wash them. <laughs> It just sounds so gross, but the more foundation that builds up in there, the, it kind of like makes the bristles stick together. So the next time you do apply foundation, like load it more onto the brush, it applies it so fucking smooth, but also really thin and evenly. I do at the end wipe off with like a wet wipe just to get off like any excess on the outside part. But obviously if I know I'm gonna do someone else's makeup, I use a different brush, like a clean brush, but yeah, just I use my cute little teddy bear, my fat little teddy bear blender from uh, China. <laughs> Do you see that finish? Oof. And then my two the Sam tip concealers, this peach beige one for my beard and my dark circles. And then the clear beige one for kind of like, I guess highlighting, but mostly just like here. The space between my dark circle and right here where it's red on my cheek. And then my cute little cat paw. And I'm gonna quickly fill in my brows with this She Glam pen. What the fuck did I just <laughs> do? I think it's so interesting the way the come up for YouTubers in Korea versus the West, where I feel like in the West, you start out as a YouTuber like by yourself, you, you film, edit everything yourself. And it's not until like you become successful or social media becomes lucrative for you that maybe you'll hire like an editing team or whatever. My YouTube manager, Hyungju, shout out to Hyungju. The thing with MCNs, if you guys know, YouTubers will sign with MCNs later on if they need like, their main job is supposed to help you find like advertising deals for your social media, sponsorships and things like that. I'm gonna use this thing that I got from AliExpress, this Capuvini. It's like a, contouring like thing and the color is very nice for uh contouring if you are on the fair to light side anyway some of these korean youtubers that have barely started youtube are really out here acting like just because they sign with an mcn they suddenly think they're fucking celebrities and that they deserve like management which is like literally not what their original the mcn's original job is some of these YouTubers sign with them thinking that, oh, I'm gonna have like an editing team and like, girl, what the fuck? You do that shit yourself. Or you hired a separate editor, what the hell? And some of these fucking YouTubers literally have the audacity to go to Hyungjin and be like, I really feel like I'm not getting the proper treatment that I deserve. Girl, what the fuck? You barely started YouTube like three minutes ago. And mind you, some of these YouTubers do end up being quite successful and I swear to God, if y'all thought Western like influencers made money, Bitch, the influencers in Korea, even if they're not as big as though they could have a hundred thousand followers on like YouTube or whatever, 
but the money that these Korean companies will spend, this is that Asian money, bitch. We're talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars. But that's the thing with, um, I feel like, especially with Korea or like Asians in general. If a celebrity or an influencer talks about something, they could be like, oh, I love this. And bitch, that shit will sell out. But I feel like in the more in the West, people will like at least look, look at the reviews or they uh, won't trust them as much. It's specifically, maybe more so these days. But yeah, that's why if I meet like Korean people, like they'll be asking me like, oh, do you edit? yourself i was like yeah i do everything myself which i thought was the default to be honest a lot of them are surprised but i'm like oh no i do this shit it's more so my personality type though i don't think i can handle other people editing my stuff because i'll probably end up changing the whole damn thing anyway like i did that one time now oh, fucking crazy it blends out really fucking nicely though how much is this shit? this shit was like what not even oh my god i need to leave soon i'm gonna be late Oh my god, what have I done? Okay, what I should have done is just apply some on the back of my hand, dipped it, and then applied. Oh my god, my nose looks fucking insane. <laughs> okay, okay, finally, we can get into the fucking palette. I think it's so weird that there's like printing on here, and like I thought it was like a sticker that you take off, but it's not. It's literally on there, so you kind of have to like look past the words to see your face. But um, I did actually try this once, and when I used this color as my base, it went on quite white. So, I'm gonna start with this one here. Oh shit. <laughs> and then I'll use that color, that kind of mauve shade. I think this one on the outer corner. Okay, that did nothing. <laughs> I'm using this other palette from Flower Nose. I'm gonna use this bright ivory shade to to my little inner corner thing. That eyeshadow palette, when I first saw, I was expecting more of like a soft grayish mauvey kind of vibe, but a lot of it is coming off more like corally. I'm gonna go back in with this color in here. Okay, there's this really strange like. I've seen this type of eyeshadow before in the in a Huda Beauty highlighter, actually. It's like these pearls, like these shimmery pearl balls suspended in like a gel base. And I think you're supposed to keep rubbing it until you get to the pearls. But otherwise, it's just kind of like gel, which to me doesn't really do much. But it does make for kind of like a nice base to kind of see, like, there's really nothing. I like to use it almost as like a base for the shimmer. I'm gonna use this one on a semi-fluffy brush. Ooh, that is the one, bitch. Ooh, I caramba. Oh my god. I also want my little cut crease shimmer, this one. Not really showing up. Should I use that little shimmery pearl thing? Let me see if that did anything. Nope. <laughs> I'm using the brightest shade, like brightest matte shade in there, right here. And the original base color that we used here. There's this very inconspicuous little tiny eyeshadow here, which the fact that it's small, it's probably meant for maybe just your egg desire because you're not using much of it anyway. But I also it might be a little bit too dark. I'm scared this might be too pigmented and make me look really tired. Oh shit. <laughs> mm. Not bad. This is really bright opaly shimmer here. I'm gonna use that. You can probably barely see it. Hmm. I'm gonna use the darkest shade as like my eyeliner, although I don't think it's gonna be dark enough. It's extremely subtle, but you know what? That's totally fine. <laughs> at first I was like, eh, but looking at it, the more I look at it, the more I'm like obsessed. It's so extremely subtle. If someone first sees you, they're not gonna be like, oh, sh that makeup, okay. But the more they look at you and look at your eyes, the more like the subtle details, I guess. 
will stand out. Oh my god, I'm fucking obsessed. <laughs> And then, to be honest, the blush, I wasn't really a fan of the blush because I find that it's too... What are they doing? I'll just show you. The color itself is pretty, but for my particular skin tone and undertone, it ends up looking extremely orange rather than like a kind of like beigey, kind of like acorn type of vibe. But it's still pretty, but... But it's really smooth, so I guess that's good. Oh my god. Upset. Oh, I love it. <laughs> and then last but not least, there is a little highlighter. It's like this iridescent kind of like lavender, like really cool tone lavender shade. It's actually really subtle. It gives us almost like translucent kind of vibe. I'm so glad that we only have to wear masks now when we're on the bus or subway and I can just take it off when I get off the subway. The more I breathe into my mask, the more steam it creates and it, like, it starts to melt my makeup. Oh my God, oh my God. And I still haven't even gotten dressed yet. <laughs> Before I do my lip makeup, I'm gonna use this shade in the palette to blur, not blur, but kind of here. To kind of soften the edge of my lip. One of the OG beauty YouTubers of Korea. She has this line of tints called the, the like the glow tint line. Pretty popular in Korea, and I think they're well known for having this like silicone tip at the end to help blend it out. But she came out with a new line of colors called the flat white line or something. And they all basically have just like a tinge of white in them. Uh, and it goes on so pale, but it does deepen to like a more, I don't know, a slightly deeper color than this. So I think for my face, because my lips are so red, a lot of even subtle tints on me will end up looking super dark and deep in red. But this, because it has that white in there, I think it just, it comes off as like a properly balanced nude. And the fact that it's a tint, you don't often see that kind of color with tints. Tints are usually like brighter, obviously, because they're lip tints, they have to stain the lips. But this one, I think it looks perfect with the rest of the color makeup, but yeah, I don't have time to be like getting dressed in the show yet. So um, that was the palette. I really fucking enjoy it. I have no idea how you can get it if you don't live in China. I could have sworn I've seen something like this on AliExpress. So maybe you can get it on there. Otherwise, I'll see you later. Bye.